Nuclear envoys from South Korea, the U.S. and Japan met to discuss ways to deal with Pyongyang. They even touched on an all-new way to punish the regime for further provocations. Connie Kim starts us off with a second such tripartite gathering in two months. The nuclear envoys from South Korea, the U.S. and Japan sent out a consistent and stern warning to North Korea on Tuesday at a time when Pyongyang was being watched closely for a provocation that might come to mark the anniversary of the foundation of the regime's Korean People's Army. The nuclear talks in Japan were the second round held since the launch of the Trump administration, and this time they raised the ante. We strongly warn North Korea against any further strategic provocations. If North Korea goes ahead despite of our warnings, we have agreed to take strong punitive measures that North Korea would not be able to endure. Strong punitive measures could include an unprecedented option, according to Japan's chief negotiator. There is the opinion that oil is a tool that could be used for sanctions. But it is important that this point is discussed with China. A resolution to the North Korea threat is nearly impossible to discuss without China's participation, which is why the U.S. under Trump has been pressing Beijing to take an active role. We also discussed the length. Uh, the role of China. We believe China has a very, very important role to play. We are encouraged, especially after the summit between uh, President Trump, President Xi in mar a lago that China has taken some steps. So we will continue to work very closely with China. Washington has been communicating closely with Beijing on North Korea, most recently in a phone call Monday between President Trump and Xi. After that conversation, China called for restraint from all parties and urged them not to aggravate the tensions on the peninsula. Beijing reiterated this stance on Tuesday, voicing its hope that the North Korean nuclear issue will be solved peacefully. And in an effort to coordinate with Seoul, Washington and Tokyo, China's nuclear envoy Wu Dawei has started a three-day visit to Japan reflecting the urgency of the problem. Connie Kim, Arirang News.